Hello. Similar to update date input, we have got update date range input. And in this video, we are going to see how to use this function. In the below example, you see that we have got a date range where the user can select the start date and end date. So currently it shows as 6th May as the date. And if I go and select here as 8th of May, and in this one, I select 12th of May. And if I click on the reset button, it should reset it back to 6th of May. So pretty much similar to what we have done in the in case of update date input example, but in this case with a range. So let's go to our studio. We'll start with loading the shiny package. In the UI, we've got some headings. We've got an action button, which is to reset the date with the input ID reset. We've got date range input and we have put in all the arguments we have seen in, in the previous videos. So we've got the input ID as date, select the date range. The start date is the system date. Also the end date is the system date. That's why it was showing a 6th of May. And the minimum uh, date the user can select is system date minus 10 days and the maximum is system date plus 10. So pretty much the user can go uh, go back 10 days and go 10 days further in the range. Now in the server code, we've got observe event. This is looking on, uh, this is watching the reset button. As soon as that is clicked, input dollar reset, we update it. We use the function update date range input. The first argument is session. Input ID equals date. So it comes from here. That's what we are going to update. So what we want, we want the date to reset as what it was when app loaded. It was system date. The start date to be system date and the end date to be system date. Now it can be anything based on how you want the range to be updated. But in this case, I have used system date because that's what I had when the app loaded. 